We start with a bit of a bombshell report coming from the Low Post. Jonathan Givoni said that there was a proposed trade between the Indiana Pacers and the Los Angeles Lakers that involved that man, Russell Westbrook, going to the Pacers along with THT and the 2026 number one pick. And in return, Malcolm Brogdon coming to the Lakers. We don't need to discuss the specifics of this trade too much, <laughs> but what does it tell you that the Lakers are out here proposing trades that involve Westbrook? What? That, that's the obvious. I mean, he's going into a final year of a deal. He's making almost $50 million a year, and their big three fizzled out last year for a multitude of reasons. LeBron played at an all-NBA level. AD dealt with injury most of the time, and Russell Westbrook struggled with his field goal percentage and his high turnovers. Mm -hmm. And so that's what leads to the coach being fired, which did happen. So now you bring in a new coach in Darvin Ham. I like what he's doing with his assistant coaches as well. So now you change the philosophy. Can we change the identity of the team because we have around seven roster spots? But when you have these guys making this kind of money, you ain't going to have much flexibility. You saw Not what they did last year, and then they got older with that group. That's why you got to now try to get younger with that group. And one of the things, even if you're going to pair Malcolm Brogdon, for example, with Anthony Davis, both of those guys have something in common. They've dealt with injury these last couple of seasons. Mm -hmm. And so if you're now the Lakers and you're thinking, the one thing about Russ, he going to play every night. That's a good point. And if you stagger his minutes with LeBron, he's going to play well many nights. But Malcolm Brogdon, and again, I want to make sure I acknowledge these last three seasons for the NBA are the exception, not the rule. I talked about this with Kyrie. There have been three champions in 20 months normally that's 36 months that's time for your body to heal and recover malcolm brogdon is one of those guys i believe when the nba clock turns back normal he'll be a lot more durable now anthony davis has always had injury concerns that's a different case so one of the things about this proposed deal is it gets rid of Westbrook, but it also, the only two real tradable assets the Lakers have are the first round picks that come later this decade and THT. So they're kind of like cashing everything out to bring in Brogdon. And I don't see that this team is Brogdon away from competing for a championship. And another thing I was thinking, oh, wait a second. This could be LeBron's last season with the Lakers. If they have another troubling season like they had last year, if, if, if it doesn't look like the future of the Lakers is successful, is this an audition year for the Lakers to have LeBron long term? Don't, don't, don't do this, LeBron. Don't, 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 don't make this an audition year. Don't, don't, don't. I like this. Don't, no. Le LeBron, LeBron, other than playing with his son, Bronny, where he put it out there, that would be a terrific opportunity. Who would turn that down? But otherwise, I think it's best for his legacy in particular for him to ride it out good, bad, or indifferent with the Lakers. Oh, so you, okay. Counterpoint, would it be best for his legacy to, I don't know, go to another team that's a championship contender, maybe get another ring? N no, because that's not going to be perceived as one that he led the way. And he likely, if he joins another situation, that means they already have a star player. They already have a go-to mm -hmm. player. So what, you want to put him on the Warriors now? Is that what we doing? I'm not naming teams at the moment. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just I'm not naming teams. I'm just, at the I, I wanted I license plate numbers. You know, we but talking I'm just about saying, if, if, if they don't make okay. the play and Anthony Davis is hurt again, you expect LeBron James to be like, you know what? Let's run this back for a third straight. I bet I expect him to feel like they got me. People want to come play with me and us. We'll figure a way to get into the playoffs. And once I get us into the playoffs and AD's healthy. We feel like we got two of the best players on the floor in any series. That's how he has to go into the season. That's going to be his attitude because LeBron was killing last year. Oh, yeah. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Like LeBron he was, was killing. He was, playing both. he was killing last year. <laughs> he he was putting the smackdown on these young he boys. Absolutely oh, okay. was Wash King yeah, yeah. last year. Yeah, he was but killing. this question that we're asking now about long term Lakers and LeBron is something that will be resurfacing month after month as we move into the midway point of next season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.